Hi, my name is Matthias, and today we're going to talk about APIs in banking and how APIs change the value chain. Now, to get started, let's look at the typical value chain in a bank. A bank is part of the value chain, of course, and the data assets that it holds. Typically, it holds data assets um, of its customers, and this data is then exposed via the bank's own app, right? So the bank owns the channel, it owns the digital apps that it brings out and delivers those digital apps to the customer. And the customer uses only the bank's own digital app in order to access the data and also functionality like payments of the bank. Now, value flows from those functionalities from the data that the bank provides to the end user via the app. And in return, there is the possibility for compensation for the bank, right? So the bank can get compensated um, in terms of fees and transaction fees and monthly fees for the services it provides, for the data it provides. Now, as you can see, it is limited in the respect that only the bank's own app can be used for the end user to get hold of the bank or, get, or use the bank's services. Now, when we talk about open banking, we open up the value chain. And there are several ways how this value chain can get opened up. You can open up the value chain in the front of the bank, so somewhere around the bank's own app, or you can open up the value chain in the back end of the bank. Typically, you think about opening up the value chain in the front of the bank, and that's why we start with that. But that's not the only way how you can open up the value chain. There are several ways how this can be done. Um, and, and it's important to keep in mind that this is only one way to open up the value chain. So what do we do when we open up the value chain in the front of the bank? Well, then we kind of in this um, value chain that we look at, we don't really need the bank's own channel, the bank's app. And the end user is still in the picture. But the bank now, instead of having a banking app, brings out an API, right? And the bank in that way becomes an API provider. Now, the bank gives this API not directly to the end user, but to an organization that consumes that API, that uses that API to create a new innovative service. For example, by mashing it up, by aggregating it, by um, putting it um, into an app together with other APIs of other uh, services and of other industries. Out comes an app. Right, And this app is a composition of several APIs. APIs provided by the bank, APIs provided by other players in the industry, APIs provided by this API consumer themselves. And together, these APIs plus some UI logic form the app that is then presented to the end user. Value flows again here from right to left. So uh, the bank's asset like functionality, payment functionality and the bank's data like transaction data is still there and it originates from the bank, but it now flows via the API to the fintech first or to the API consumer. The API consumer then kind of enriches or uh, even increases the value towards the end user by adding the UI, by mashing it up with other services that are relevant for this particular end user. So that means the value chain has gotten longer. Now, in return for that value that the end user receives, there is some compensation capability, right? The end user will be, will be ready to pay something and he will pay for um, the app provided by the API consumer and will also pay for um, the service provided by the bank. What's important is when we open up the value chain in the front of the bank, 
is that the value chain gets longer and it moves left, so to say. Yeah. Banks now, when you have this move to the left, need to become better at new things. Their banks now need to be good at exposing APIs. They also need to be good at securing those APIs and marketing the APIs, right? Marketing the API to those new players, to the new API consumers, to the fintechs. And they need to be able to build new and many at scale partnerships, right? It's not just one partnership like banks used to do in the past. It is just a single, single occurrence, but this needs to scale. You need to create partnerships at scale when you want to open up the value chain in the front end, be successful with it. Now, <clears throat> opening up in the front is the main way how we open up the value chain and also the most communicated and most thought of way when you say open up the value chain, but it's not the only one. You can also open up the value chain in the back of the bank. The back end systems, so to say, are going to be opened up. And this is basically to say that the business assets, those functionalities that the bank has, those backends that the bank has, don't need to be at the bank. They can be somewhere else. And the bank now becomes an API consumer. The API consumer consumes an API and builds stuff with this API that they consume from someone else. The someone else might be another bank or it might be even a fintech. And that fintech then has the backend systems that contain the data. And the bank doesn't need to operate it. They just need to make sure that they can access the API. As you can see, the value chain again gets longer, but it gets longer in the back. And that means that now benefits flow from this other bank to the bank and uh, eventually to the end user. And again, compensation possibilities are again from the end user to the bank, but the bank is an API consumer, so they need to pay also for the services that they receive from the other bank or from the FinTech. So the value chain now moves right and also the compensation possibilities move to the right. That means banks now, when you open up the value chain in the back, need to be good at consuming APIs and everything that is in the surrounding of consuming an API, like um, knowing about the security of this API and doing everything to secure it and um, consume it in a secure manner. Orchestrating APIs, integrating APIs is very important, right? You can think about there's several of those fintechs and backend systems that you, um, uh, that you that you as a bank would consume. And then, of course, you need to build partnerships uh, with those new suppliers of APIs. So that was a quick look at the value chain and how APIs can change the value chain of a bank. They can make the value chain longer. They can make it longer to the left or to the right. Or of course you can combine those two patterns and make the value chain even longer where you open up on the left and you open up on the right and the front and the back. Um, so possibilities just increase. Um, it's all about making smart choices. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Matthias. This video has been sponsored by Software AG.